The guy bought a $117 case of Pinot Grigio, right? So $10 a bottle Pinot Grigio. I go on his Twitter account on this flight and all he's tweeting is the following. Jay Cutler, I love you. Jay Cutler, you're the best. Jay Cutler, I'm mad at you. He's a huge, for those that don't know, Jay Cutler was, is and was at the time the quarterback of the Chicago Bears, right? So he's talking about Jay Cutler, Jay Cutler. So I call, the, call my, my, my point person back at the store and I said, look, I want you to go to eBay and I want you to buy him a signed Jay Cutler jersey, which was like $350, much more than the 8% profit we made on the $111 case of Pinot Grigio. And I want you to send a note in there and say thank you for your order, thanks for shopping Wine Library. So great, so I send it. And then three and a half weeks go by and nothing happens. And I'm like, this son of a gun is really not gonna acknowledge this random kindness. So, you know, we send out some other stuff and then out of nowhere, um, I'm a, actually, ironically, I'm about to take stage at a talk in Las Vegas and I get a phone call from Kristen and she goes, I, I, I mean, she hasn't called me yet. She works in the thank you department. She doesn't really need me. She's only to call me about these couple of things we sent out. And I pick up the phone, I go, you got something? She goes, kind of. I go, go ahead. She goes, I want to read you the order we just got. So she reads off this order and how many people here are into wine? But great, wow, amazing. <laughs> So this person orders $4,800 worth of high-end red burgundy. You know, Coach de like Dujac, like real stuff for the real nerds in here. Anyway, and here's what the comment box said. It said, hey, my name is Craig. I want you to know, you guys sent my friend John a Chicago Bears jersey and he told me the story and that's how I found out about you. P.S. You have great prices on Red Burgundy. P.S.S. I'm a huge Bruce Springsteen fan. <laughs> the, the punchline of that story is you guys are curating events and experiences that really matter. People today, more and more, as time goes on, are sharing more and more information about themselves. We can cry about privacy, but every day we prove with our actions that we don't care. Right? And really there's a much more fascinating debate over that which is that people are inherently good. The mainstream media just talks about the small 1% of bad and that's why we share our privacy. Your ability to know a lot more about the people that are coming to these events is far greater than you may believe. And that if you actually put the time to understand who that is, I promise you this, that if I came to one of your events as a top seller or executive and I walked into my hotel room and instead of a fruit basket or a bottle of wine or a nice welcome note, that there was a New York Jets hat, that wouldn't matter to me. Because that would show the thing that matters more than anything, which is intent and effort. 